How's it going guys? New video today is on the narcissist is going to destroy every relationship that they have. And when I mean what I mean by destroy every relationship is the narcissist is not only going to destroy the romantic relationships, which there are going to be many. Okay, they're going to destroy their relationships with their family members, children, relatives, parents. It doesn't matter. A narcissist is going to destroy every relationship because the narcissist just if they cannot use you. That's just who they are. That's just who they are. That's just like a rigid form of their personality it is all about destruction and they cannot help themselves it feel it's like it's a pain that they have but it feels so good to them and it satisfies them to know that they're able to destroy something to destroy someone it, they get so much joy out of seeing the look on your face when they can see that you are destroyed about something you're hurt and in pain about something that they caused that is the most empowering feeling to a narcissist that they can feel because that's who they are at the core. They are broken. They are destroyed. They are evil. They are a dark, evil entity. There is no good in a narcissist. There is no good in a narcissist. Everything about them is wicked. By the time you get to see them with the mask off, you're going to see nothing but pure evil and wickedness now with the mask on they'll pretend they'll hide and act like they are something that they're truly not but you know they're wicked they are wicked and they're wicked on every single level they're wicked on every level so you know if you think that you know it's just you and what have you done and why are you deserving of this? It's not. It's not. It is the narcissist every time. People, a narcissist doesn't really care about relationships the way we, the way the empath does. To a narcissist, you know, just having a relationship is just an opportunity to destroy. You know, and they'll keep you around for as long as they can use you. When they can't use you for something anymore, then they don't really feel that urge or that need to have you around. You know, with a narcissist, it's all about control. It's all about destruction. It's all about having the upper hand. It's all about bringing you dissatisfaction. And they have very rigid patterns. So they want you to believe that you know, they're just living this this life of abundance, of beauty, of love, of, you know, care and honor on some level. Well, maybe not honor. Because if you'll notice, even with a narc, they don't really get into that integrity thing. You know, they want you to see them a certain way. But that's it. They're not going to do any work to get you to see them that way. No, they're just masters of illusions. I mean, you might be able to call a, a narcissist a magician on some level because they are masters of illusions. They create an illusion that everything around them is happy. When you have been discarded by one or if you discard one, they're going to feed you an illusion that, you know, life is just so incredible. It's so incredible at that, that, moment, that moment with them. But it's not. It's not. A, it's a dark cloud over every narcissist out here. It's a dark, dirty cloud over each and every one of them because the works that their labor, well, the labor that they do requires them to receive the karma that keeps them in that bad space. 
Now, yeah, they could choose to do something different, but that's not who they are. It's just like you. You could choose to do something different, but that's not who you are. So you have to pretty much stick to who you are. Well, the narcissist is an evil entity. They came to you with evil intent. They came to you to do something bad to you, not something good. They're not there, you know, for love or, you know, to build with you. They're there to fool you and trick you into, re into being in a relationship with them so that they can destroy you. Yes, it's about destruction. We're dealing with, listen, it's, it's about spiritual warfare, people. It's spiritual warfare. You're like, well, what do they get out of destroying you? They just destroyed your spirit. They can, somebody destroys your spirit, they can make you kill yourself. That it's all about doing and being evil. It's all about doing, showing, being evil. It's not about uplifting. It's not about building with them. They are here on assignment. A narcissist is truly here on assignment. The assignment is destroy. Sometimes we want to believe that people are not that evil and they're not doing that type of thing. And what do they get out of that? I'm telling you what they're getting out of it. This is spiritual warfare, people. Spiritual warfare. You're at war right now. If you're dealing with a narcissist, you are at war. Okay? You're at war. And they're not going to stop until they have destroyed you or they are destroyed. So, you know, again, they are going to destroy every relationship that they come in contact with. That is the main reason why a narcissist doesn't want to be exposed. Once they become exposed, like right now, we've moved into a time of separation. People, we're moved into a time of separation. And we just coincidentally think that it's about this uh, pandemic all over the planet. Mm -mm. People, we've moved into a time of separation because that this narcissist is being exposed. He's being sh him and her. That Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel. And, and I want to talk about that just for briefly, you know, that spirit of Jezebel. It's not just that's not Jezebel is not a, just a female. A Jezebel is a male as well. See, it's a spirit of deception. It's a spirit of illusion, of elusiveness. It's a spirit of confusion. It's a spirit of it's an evil spirit. The Jezebel is the, the lying spirit, the spirit of lying and deception. It's the spirit of cheating. It's the spirit of confusion. And anyone who practices that is a Jezebel. So it's not, a Jezebel is not just a female. It's a male or a female. Because it's really talking about someone who is an evildoer. The spirit of Jezebel. And see, the spirit of Jezebel will not allow you, anyone, to stay in any relationship, whether it's a friend, a family member, or a spouse, and be in peace. They, it's not, they're not able to do that. That's why their friendships are very superficial. They're very superficial. You know, they don't really have any real friendships. It's all about using people. Some of their friendships are about people using them. But all of them are about using one another. They are not people that came to be a friend. So they're not really looking for friendship. They're looking for your pity so that they can destroy you. They're evil. See, the narcissist is the one who they want to rob you. And then help you look for what they took from you. You know, they want to rob you beat you up and jump you and then rush you to the hospital to say, hey, this person, I'm say, I saved your life. 
the narcissist is they are the most wicked, the most evil people on the planet. There's nothing more evil. It's nothing more cunning. It's nothing more ruthless than a north than a narcissist. Nothing, no one more ruthless. And they're going to destroy every relationship that they have. They have that Jezebel spirit and it it won't allow them to act normal. And a lot of times we will sit back and try to have a relationship with one of these monsters and wonder why they can't just get it together. Why can't they just do right? Why can't they just get, you know, put get themselves right? Why? They can't. They cannot. That's not who they are. That's not what they do. That's not what it's about with them. With a narcissist, it's all about destroying you. And a lot of times we have, we struggle with, you know, we take them back a few times and more, some of us more than others. Some of us, we take them back, you know, time after time after time. And they show us every time we take them back that we were, you know, that was a foolish decision. Every time we take one of them back, every time you take that narcissist back, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you some time. It's going to cost you your feelings because they just want to get back in there and reopen that wound again. That's it. So taking the narc back, that's going to be destructive for you. That's going to cause you all kinds of infractions. It's going to start get you right back under that same duress, the stress, the panics, panic attacks, everything. You're going to face all of that dealing with that narc. So. You know, again, I just wanted to come in here and make a quick video, uh, really a reminder video that every relationship with the narc will be destroyed. There will none of them will be saved. None of them will be saved. Every narcissist is on a path of total destruction. Every last one of them. Every narcissist, as a, as a matter of fact, a narcissist really would remind you of those pilots that took over the planes on 911 you know they're just suicide pilots that's what narcissists are they're suicide pilots they will kill themselves to hurt you they will do anything to themselves just to try to destroy you and i mean anything there's no limit to what they will do or won't do no limit to what they will or won't do Everything about them is toxic. Everything about them is foul and filthy. They're all of their intentions are bad intentions. They are narcissists. They're, they, I, I'm going to use uh, something that Mike Tyson used to say. When he said he used to swing to punch his opponent, he was swinging with bad intentions. Well, that's how a narcissist is. They have relationships with bad intentions. That's exactly who they are. They are a fraud. They are perpetrators. They are your worst nightmare. And you can see that. Again, a narcissist is going to destroy every relationship around them. Protect yourself. Listen, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. All my new subscribers, I appreciate you. All of the family who has been here this entire time, we win. Thank you again for everything thank you for your support um for you guys that have not joined my facebook group it is narcissist anonymous 101 the empath tribe if uh i cannot receive any more friend requests on facebook and i don't want to keep just opening new pages so i'm pushing everybody over to my instagram page my instagram channel i have something new coming up for you guys on my instagram channel and i do want you to go over there to follow me the link is in uh on my home page, uh, you can go right to my Instagram page right there. It's a link right in my home page. So just go in there, jump in there and follow me. Um, got some new things coming up for you guys, and I'm really getting excited about it. Uh, if you ha are in an entanglement with a narc or just getting out of one, I already know how stressful that can be, how stressful it is. And a lot of times you need someone to help you you know, get out of that or help you understand what you're dealing with to help you strategize a way out of it. So I do offer one on one coaching. 
just go into my inbox on my Instagram page or my Facebook page and leave me a message and I will send you my calendar. OK, for you guys that just want to send me a gift, I use Zeal. I don't know what's going on with Cash App and uh, PayPal is not as dependable as I need it to be. But Zeal has proven to be very uh, consistent. So, um, again, and, and I know some people want to be uh, remain anonymous, you know, when they do send gifts. So I'm just you know, I'm just putting it out there for you guys. You can um, just inbox me and we'll have that conversation. All right. Till the next video. Thank you. You guys have a great one.